Welcome to Japan. In this video, we're going to be showing you guys some of the first real Japanese dishes that we've had here in Japan. For lunch today, we're excited to be trying our first round of Japanese curry here at Kokoichi. Curry hamburger or curry fried chicken? Oh, oh that's spicy. Too. Just a little bit. We're about to go in and have sushi for the first time in Japan. <laughs> nice. Can you take that one? Oh, yeah. Just do a little baby squeak. We're Tanner, Rissa, Willa, and Noah. We're a little American family living our dream of life abroad and documenting our experiences along the way. We recently moved to Japan and currently live about an hour south of Tokyo. This is wild. If you've been following along, you'll know we've recently left Germany after spending three years traveling, working, and thriving in Europe. Our farewell to Deutschland was difficult. Sorry, I'm tearing up. But we made the most of our time there and had some of our favorite memories that opened our hearts and minds. Since arriving in Japan, we've begun exploring our local area and are awaiting some incredible sights, flavors, and memories. We know things won't always be easy as our adventure abroad has been met with some obstacles and heartbreak. However, in the end, they've only helped us grow. Follow us on this epic journey as we continue to share our experiences as a little traveling family. One of the things that we've been most excited about moving here to Japan is the food. We've heard the quality is top notch and we're just so excited to dive in. So starting out our food tour, we're gonna be stopping at Akaoni. And this is a restaurant on the sixth floor here in this building. This is a Yakunuku restaurant. And so from what we've heard, this is a place where we can grill our own meat. I think there's some sort of like hot plate or um, grilling area so that's gonna be fun on the signs it says it's an all-you-can-eat buffet we know honestly that there are better yakunuku restaurants around the area the other places are just too far to walk to we don't have a car yet and we're currently in temporary housing on base so we're doing the best that we can we're still super excited to explore it and I'm sure the food's gonna be delicious okay, go push the button. I think it's over here. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> and a couple things we realized. That elevator door shut like super fast. And they're small. You know if it's in English, it's not as probably as great, but. Doesn't mean that's not great. We're really close to the base though, so you can't discredit that. But we'll see. Looks like there's two options between a 60 minute time or a Mommy, 90 minute time. This is the ice cream. It does look like ice cream. I'm excited for this. Alright, so we're loading up over here and <laughs> we'll just make sure that we got a, a pancake, banana, and an orange, but I got some pineapple some mushrooms, uh, a few bell peppers, getting some green onions here. There is a fee if you have any leftover food. Any leftover food, I know, so that's why I'm, I'm choosing sparingly, and I told you that too. Which I think I really appreciate the fact that there is a fee. Not right now, we're gonna, get, we're gonna start cooking our food first, and then we can get ice cream. Look, they have shrimp, look, they have some other bacon, some other cuts of, uh, I'm gonna say that beef? that's pork or beef. Pinch it, yeah, pinch it. On the plate. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's a good idea. See how this one's getting smaller? I have no idea what I'm doing. It's really fun though, just exploring. Uh, pork and beef that we have here, chicken. And the bacon here, the white beef. This is um, some kind of pork as well, kind of like reminds us of a bacon. Mm. I think we actually cooked this one quite all right. 
It is a little unfortunate that this one isn't like a charcoal grill. He fired it right up with the gas, but it's still it's still fun, this being like one of our first experiences. I know that we'll go to plenty of these while we're here. Really nice flavor. Just walking outside of the restaurant now where it's a little quieter from the music, and a first few impressions are it wasn't the best place, and I'm not dogging on it because there were some cuts of meat that were seasoned quite well, the marinade, um, and the sauce was really nice. Honestly, I was expecting it to be just a little bit better, but with that being said, it was still a fun environment for us to be in there, a lot more difficult with the kids. But honestly, there was plenty enough room for all of us there, and it wasn't like those tiny bars that we see a lot of these other ramen places and other restaurants that are hard to get in there. So, And we had a place to park the stroller, which is also nice. It was not at a busy time. It was like in between that lunch and dinner time, 2 to 3 o'clock is when we were eating. I will say that we definitely needed to have more time with the kids. We only did a 60 minutes, because um, that's what he was recommending for us. But Rissa and I were like, man, I just feel rushed. So in the future, we're gonna do 90 minutes for sure, just so that we can enjoy the experience a little bit more. One other thing we did notice is there was this guy that walked in just as we were leaving, and he got his plates, and each of the different plates, he would put chicken on one plate, and he would put pork on another, and then he would put beef on another, and he had it systematically all lined up with what he was gonna get. Now granted, that was just one person coming in and eating, and I'm sure it's not their first time that they've been in there anyway, so. Some things that we're learning, a fun experience for us to try out grilling our meat for the first time here in Japan. For lunch today, we're excited to be trying our first round of Japanese curry here at Kokoichi. We've heard a lot of great reviews. This is, is really close to the US base, so a lot of Americans frequent here as well, but we've heard this is a really fun place to go and have some awesome Japanese curry. We have to wait just a few minutes because it's full right now, and the smells are really nice already. I'm really excited to see what they have on the menu and uh, try to use my Japanese word, susume. I think that's the right one for like, what do you recommend? Fried chicken? Do you want the curry with naan? Apple juice? For babies too. Should we do this one? Yep. Do you want a scrambled egg? Mm, so. Fried chicken curry, a chicken cutlet curry, seafood curry with fried shrimp. Ooh. Tonkatsu is sold out. That's the one I wanted to get, I think. So this is really fun because you get to decide like which meat that you want, which portion, like how much how many grams of rice that you want. Um, how spicy, in fact you can all go all the way up to level 20, but it jumps from 10, 15 to 20. And I heard you have to do 10 first to be able to do 15, to be able to do 20, so it must be some serious spice. I think we're going to try a level 1 or 2 just so that the kids can eat it as well. But then you can also choose all these other fun types of toppings and stuff, so I'm really excited. There's a lot of options. Egg salad, Caesar salad, tuna salad, salad, corn salad, potato salad, sausage, fried chicken salad, squid salad. We've got the children curry fried chicken for 580 yen. Our other homemade, handmade tonkatsu is 1435. Got some salad, got some other naan, some deliciousness, and so 2855. Order. Water. Cold water. So they brought out Willa's dish with our salad and the spicy garlic and I'm not gonna lie, this reminds me of my Chinese food. Thank you. Yeah. Um, it was okay? Yes. It looks so fun. Wow. Going out to eat is an adventure with kids, but this I was gonna say, this smells like um, the food that I get at a Chinese restaurant in <laughs> Utah. It smells really good. Sweet. Oh, oh that's spicy too. Is it? <laughs> we got a spice one level. Did you do one or two? I think we started with one. one. <laughs> my back of my throat is like, I mean, it's like manageable. It's like spicier than the Indian dishes we've been trying. It gets you in the back of the throat. I'm gonna try it with the rice and the scrambled eggs now. Yes, you can. The scrambled eggs look like they have like a cheese mixed in with it. I don't know if they, they do, but it looks like it. They're really good. I want the best. Okay, perfect. 
That cutlet looks really good. This is a pork cutlet that you could have your option between vegetarian and a beef. Chicken. When I first picked it up, I could see the steam coming off, so I think it's going to be hot too. Mm. That's really good plain, but I definitely want it mixed with some sauce. Garlic on. This is totally giving me like Indian vibes. Like it's like a warm, spicy curry that reminds me of like kind of those similar Indian flavors. And we are big fans of Indian, so this is really good. I like it. See, and there's a lassi too, just like you can order in an Indian restaurant. Mmm, it's nice. Now I'm gonna give this a try. Ooh. Ooh, that is nice. This is a tanner kind of nice, savory, rich meal. Ooh, and that's spicy in the back of the throat, like Rissa was saying, that's true. I'm always skeptical when I see like brown gravy type things because this immediately takes me back to like elementary, middle school, high school. My entire growing up at school lunches, they would have a turkey fried steak with mashed potatoes, like pureed mashed potatoes, and I like a brown gravy. And this immediately makes me think of that, but it is nowhere near the same flavor at all. Like, I mean, it's not even the same spices and stuff, but pleasantly surprised and happy with the flavors of this. Mm. Is it crunchy? Yeah. Ooh, and it's really, mmm. It's so good. I already know that I wouldn't get this, like, every day because it's a lot as far as, like, the, the richness of it and stuff. Now to try it with a little piece of the cutlet. Really nice and crispy. That crunchy outside is just perfectly cooked. Daddy said these three for me. Okay. And before we forget, we have this kokoichi sauce that we're going to have. Just a little bit. No idea what to expect. Okay. I think it's sweeter. Mango lassi? Mm, that's just normal lassi. Normal lassi? Yeah. I think it actually adds a nice little flavor. I could have it either way. I don't think I need to add another sauce into it, but if you liked it a little bit sweeter, I think that's what you would do. Try one of these bad boys. Mm. Oh yeah. Can I throw the rest of those in there? No. Throw the garlics in there. Really good, but it's plenty spicy as it is right now. Mmm. Really fun. We're about to go in and have sushi for the first time in Japan. Decided to do a sushi train. Sounds really fun, and we've heard some good reviews about this place. I don't like sushi. And that's what I thought you were gonna say. But it's not only sushi they have on these things too, Willa. So let's go find out what they have. Maybe they're gonna have some other things that'll surprise us. Sushi in Japan. Sushi in Japan. Let's go. Okay, press down there. You press the American flag. This one. The American. That says English. It'd be fine. Proxy. And Proxy. Nice. And like, that's where our food's gonna come. Crab miso soup. <laughs> Got the toddler in front of the tablet here, and we're like, four crab miso soups. But we only need one, so we had to like call them over and. <laughs> Tell she me was only quick. One. So this actually is not on the main carousel of like all these assortments they just place on there and do whatever. Um, so we're gonna be doing like just order your own. So I know it would be a lot of fun to be over there, but given the fact that we're four of us, this is the available spot they had. I think it might still come out here. So we'll have to no, see. it still will come out here. But they put random ones up on the the conveyor belt in the middle. And it does a circle so people can just come and look at it and pick those. Whereas we have to special order anything that comes down here. So let's go back to the menu. We have got sushi rolls, soups. Hey. What you doing? I'm pretty sure that they should be bringing some cold water, but we have a hot water tap here. Oh, it looks like ours is coming on L090. So just so you know, we'll look out for it, okay? But we do have a tap over here, which is uh, apparently it's really hot uh, water. And this is this is called um, pickled ginger. Uh, pickled ginger, yep. You don't want it? No, I or as you know, I ordered it for you. Oh, thank you. Please limit one order to four items. Okay. Well, this sounds good. It looks oh. like we've got a lot of stuff. 
Yeah. That we don't have a lot of translations for. Like okay, so you have an option with or without wasabi. I think maybe for right now we'll do without. Yeah. And then we'll just do some normal sushi rice. So we'll just try one of those. Arc shell clam, crab miso salad, sea urchin. Yeah, we'll definitely, definitely be trying some of that. Sea urchin. Ooh, kind of expensive, isn't it? That looks good. Oh yeah. What is what are you? We'll have to definitely be looking that up. Start there and let's get something for the little Willa. Homemade shrimp. Mm -hmm. You want some shrimp? No. You don't want shrimp? I do! I want shrimp! Okay, alrighty. The wrapping kind of came out a little bit, and it's got a little dabble of wasabi up on top. One thing that I actually listened to in a podcast a few weeks ago, this guy was talking about Japan and Japanese food, and he said when he touched sea urchin, he's like, it was an interesting experience, and he said, everyone should try it. He's like, but it's not something that he cares for, so I think I'm going to wait until I have some other foods here as well. <laughs> it definitely looks interesting. Uh, wait, wait for it. This is so fun. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, oh that looks nice. good. <laughs> nice. Can you take that one? Oh, yeah. Looks like we've got so two seared, seared salmon. salmon. And this is just the regular, right? We have quite the plethora of food here already between omelets and fish to sea urchin and some beautifully looking sesame seeds with some, uh, some sort of delicious sauce on top. And uh, here we go. Interesting, yeah. I can't say it's like a super strong flavor. I can definitely taste a lot of the seaweed. I did get a good amount of the sea urchin too. It's kind of interesting. I thought it would be a little more pungent of a flavor, but it's really not that strong, so kind of fun though still to try it. I'll have to see what you think, Chris. So I tried the sea urchin. It honestly surprised me. It's kind of a different texture than I'm used to. It's not chewy at all. It's like very soft. You can squish it with your mouth. That kind of sounds weird, but I don't know if I'd like Get it a lot, but I enjoyed it. Here we have this beautiful looking fish, or in Tanner's words, sesame seeds. These are the beautiful sesame seeds he was talking about. And it's on a bed of what, cucumbers? Yep. Mm -hmm. It looks like a soy sauce, maybe teriyaki like sauce. We definitely have some work to do with the chopsticks etiquette. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's really good. That is a teriyaki seasoning. Really nice. Nice and hot, which is good. It's like a very soft texture. I will try it. Okay, it's kind of hot. It's kind of like... It's chewy. Yeah, it's a little chewy. I like the inside. The sauce isn't my favorite. This is a homemade omelet. It looks kind of interesting. <laughs> That's quite nice. Um, when I look at it, it reminds me of like a piece of French toast with some cinnamon swirled around it, but um, <laughs> that's just like the looks. The taste is very nice. Now for the seared tuna. I'm really looking forward to this one as well. It's really good. I'm pretty sure that they just took a little flamethrower and seared to the top of it. That like melted in my mouth, honestly. Like seriously, it, it disintegrated pretty closely in my mouth. What? Mm. I love seafood and coming to Japan I had full intentions to do as much seafood eating as I can and tonight's like the first night that we really dove into it. Just do a little baby squeak. That was a big bite of sushi rice and I wasn't really that much of a fan of the texture. A little chewier than I thought. We ordered some salmon rolls. I'm actually not gonna lie, I'm kinda nervous. I've never had this but I always see pictures of it so I said we gotta try it. Put on my brave face, huh? Can I see mom? Whoa. Whoa. Is it bubbly? Salty. I'm not trying anything about the little baby salmon that I just ate, but it's actually really good, but salty. It's a really cool texture too because it just kind of pops in your mouth. I tried this and it was really this sushi restaurant is located on the second floor right here by the Yokosuka train station and it actually had fairly good reviews. We saw a variety of things and although you could change the menu on the tablet, most of all of the signs were in Japanese. So 
there wasn't a lot of English available, which sometimes is a good sign. It was really fun to explore. Kind of hectic doing this with two kids, trying things while filming. But nonetheless, we still had the fun time and we're happy we can expose our kids to these different types of foods. Sometimes it's even intimidating for myself to try these because they look so different from what I'm normally used to. So proud of ourselves for just trying some new things and I'm sure there's a lot more of that to come. So definitely stay tuned for some more adventures here in Japan. That's gonna include food videos, travel ones. We are so eager and excited to start exploring more than just our local city and you know we're gonna take you with us. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next video.